Have you ever seen one of these things? It's actually a beetle. It's called a varied carpet beetle and it grows up to three millimeters long. Although I think this specimen is only half that length. Um, they have this uh, whitish brown kind of uh, varied markings on their outer exoskeleton. So these things basically, uh, you know, they have a larval stage and they go through a few instars and then they become these beetles that can fly. And, you know, I've seen these with their wings spread out and they kind of land on walls and other things. They're not really attracted to humans, but um, they've, you know, buzzed around my bed and I've found them on my bed and I haven't really seen them on the carpet, but then again, uh, who really looks closely at their carpet. So they have these beetle larvae that uh, I'm reading about online and they supposedly eat natural fibers so if your carpet or you know you have some old clothes or something uh, untouched contain natural fibers they're going to eat that and they can be serious household pests or get into uh, museums where they're so tiny they can basically get into the exhibits and start eating stuff up works of art etc or exhibits I'm going to try to poke this thing and see if I can get it to move you know it's basically spooked at this point by my presence yeah I think it's moving its feet and it either didn't fold its wings properly behind or you know, I don't know what happened so you just turn it upside down See if it responds to that. Wow, this thing is just so tiny. I mean, I'm zooming in and I'm at the absolute correct focal length and it still looks tiny. It only takes up like one, you know, 250th of the screen. So now it's just kind of playing dead. It's not moving. But uh, it's kind of hard to imagine that these beetles like live in our houses and our apartments and basically they don't, you know, they go unnoticed most of the time until you see an adult beetle flying around, you know. Um, I suppose if there were a way to visualize all the beetle larvae, it would be quite grotesque, you know. Kind of like if you were to go out in the desert at night and shine a UV light on the desert floor you'd see all the scorpions well we don't have something like that for detecting these carpet beetle larvae yeah this thing is uh it's kind of shy you know it's just playing dead basically just barely moving when i touch it so okay so i got it right side up again Yeah, so this thing is basically going to stay still. That's its survival strategy. It's not going to move or spread its wings and try to fly away. So one of my final musings is, where do these beetle larvae get their water from? I can understand these adults have wings so they can fly. And that makes, you know, a trip to the bathroom or the kitchen to get some water. Um, just pretty simple. But for a beetle larvae, how would it crawl all the way to a water source? I've never seen carpet beetle larvae anywhere not in the bathroom not near the kitchen you know so I just can't understand where they would be getting water from and you know my place it's carpeted but it's dry everywhere and I'm not even sure there are natural fibers I guess there must be if they're eating them in the carpet but uh, I really don't know where the beetle larvae can get water from it might be you know they're just synthesizing uh, water from uh, some kind of reaction where they're breaking down molecules you know of fibers that they're eating um, you know likewise with silverfish which are a common household pest